where is Ronnie? Is he in wardrobe? Yeah. He's getting fit. Right. Where's Benvolio? <laughs> Both of them? Oh, <laughs> brothers in crime. Great rehearsal this morning. I thought we did some really good work. I want to give a few notes, and then we'll go to lunch. Don't panic. I won't take too long. <laughs> uh, Capulets in the ball scene. Uh, you're taking too much of the tone from Tibble. I mean, you're loyal to him, but enough is enough. Um, let there be a contrast, even though you guys are part of the same family, all right? Uh, Lady Montague, I still don't feel that you've made a complete choice as to why she's there. Um, is it a matter of her feeling that she has to socially? Uh, whatever the choice is, I know it's going to be the right choice because you're brilliant, as always, okay? Good. Um, Juliet, watch the coquettishness in the scene. I know you're interacting with a lot of people. As an unperfect actor on the stage who with his fear is put beside his part, or some fierce thing replete with too much rage whose strength's abundance weakens his own heart, so I, for fear of trust, forget to say the perfect ceremony of love's right, and in mine own love's strength seem to decay, or charged with burthen of mine own heart's might. Oh, let my looks be then the eloquence and dumb presagers of my speaking breast, who plead for love and look for recompense more than that tongue that more hath more expressed. Oh, learn to read what silent love hath writ. To hear with eyes belongs to love's fine wit. I think that's it, guys. So let's break now. We'll come back after lunch and we'll talk some more. Okay, Thank great. You. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. You guys go.